Here with yet another tragic example of why one specific section of roadway in New Jersey's capital is so dangerous. Lower Street and Route 129. Lower and Route 129. Lower Street and Route 129. Been named one of the deadliest intersections in the entire nation. A 66-year-old John Giordano was hit by one car, which sped away, struck and killed here after getting out of a cab. The driver was never found. Crossing guards are in place to protect pedestrians from 7 a.m. Chopper 6 HD. It happened around 3.30 this afternoon, and witnesses are telling us that it was one of the crossing guards who work at this intersection who was killed. In that one month, I've seen everything in the book. Lawler Street and Route 129 is difficult to navigate, to say the least. We've got traffic coming in and out of the shopping center here. Then we've got the train, the train station right here. Then next to that, you've got the senior center across the street. You've got traffic coming in from the county road here and then the state highway here as well. Closed right now because of an accident. You can see there uh, police there on the scene. Also an ambulance right for the deadliest intersection in the country. <laughs> is right here in Trenton, New Jersey. The guy that worked at Dunkin' Donuts, he got hit here and knocked in front of my window on the island. There were nine fatal crashes at the intersection of Layler Street and Route 129 from the years 2000 to 2019. Trenton police rushed to the scene where investigators say 66-year-old John Giordano was hit by one car which sped away and then a second car. That driver stayed on scene. Police say Giordano is in extremely critical condition. You can see another memorial for another victim of a hit and run. Lawler Street and Route 129 has been named one of the deadliest intersections in the nation. When these cars are coming off the state highway, um, they, they're at such a speed that when they come on the intersection, they don't realize they are here and then a fatality happens. And it's just a, it's a tragedy. Um, but it is a preventable tragedy. We've met with the uh, state DOT. They have pledged to do uh, traffic calming devices, signage, lights, flashing lights uh, for, for cars to slow down. 35-year-old Celso Rivera left a family game night and was struck and killed here after getting out of a cab. The driver was never found. The New Jersey Department of Transportation says new traffic calming measures will be in place. They say they're going to be changing up the signal timing to allow for more people to be able to cross the street in a timely manner. They're also going to add additional lights and signage, asking people to slow down and pay attention. All of that should be up by the end of this year.